Yo, what's going on guys? Nick Anderson here. And in this video, what Paul and I want to do for you is just elaborate a little bit further on the video that you just saw. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can actually click the link beneath this video. Stop right now. Don't watch the rest of this one. And uh, you can actually go back to the email we just sent you and watch that video where we're just sitting down, you know, sharing stories with you, sharing our past experiences, some problems that we've faced and how we've gotten past those problems. And what we want to do in this video is just elaborate a little bit further. We're going to highlight some problems. We're actually going to dispel some myths that people think they have to do when they join network marketing. And what I want to do right now is go over the number one problem that people face, not only when they join the industry, but several years after they've been with the industry. You know, I've heard this from a lot of people and here, here's what it is. It's finding people to talk to. You know, I'm sure the company that you're with right now, maybe you've been approached by someone in your downline and they say, hey, you know, I don't have anyone to talk to. I've run out of my friends. You know, no one wants to do this business with me. And maybe you've told them, hey, you know what? Keep adding to your list. Go out there and meet more people. So now most people, they think they run out of people to talk to. But, you know, like Paul goes over in video number two that you're going to watch, you know, when you click uh, the next part of the series, he talks about the numbers, how there's over 7 billion people on the planet. So there's no question that there's enough people to talk to, but what you want to be very clear on is this right here. Hopefully you guys can read that. My handwriting is like fifth grader, but it's finding the right people, okay? The right people to talk to. And if you're going out there, and you're prospecting people, and every single person you're prospecting, you're telling about the business, they hate network marketing, they don't wanna do it, you're not gonna close any one of them. You know, you can get a room of a thousand people together, and if they all don't like the industry, if they're all not ready for something new in their life, you get an expert closer on stage, and they're gonna close 0% of the room. So it's all about having, you know, the people and having the right people to talk to, but more importantly than that, you also want this right here, okay? knowing what to say to them, okay? You gotta know what to say, you gotta know how to present your offer in the correct way to get them to make a decision to pull out their credit card and buy what you're selling, okay? And you know what we're gonna teach you is how to generate one to two sales every single day, but in order to do that first, you have to understand that you need the right leads, you need the right people to talk to, and you have to know what to say to them. Because I remember when I uh, went cold prospecting for the very first time, I actually went into a, a dollar store. And I was just gonna go in there to practice my prospecting. You know, first time I just got done actually watching some Cesar Rodriguez. So I was fired up, I was pumped up, you know, I was ready to get someone signed up that day. So I go into the dollar store, wander around the store for a little bit, I actually just bought a pack of gum. And there's one employee that was working there. It was an old lady. She looked like she was around like 90 years old or so, you know, been working there for a little while. And I approach her and I asked her the question, you know, I did a little small talk and I said, hey, you know, do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money outside of what you're doing right here? And her first response was, do I have to do home events for that? And that voice too, which was pretty scary. And I, I told her, you know, I didn't really know what to say, but I said, not if you don't want to. I mean, there's other ways to build your business. And she said, oh no, thanks, I'll pass. Just right off the bat, wasn't even curious. And you know, that was my first experience. You know, fast forward a couple months from that, I was actually in Walmart. And I dragged, you know, one of the leaders from my team with me because I was too scared to go prospecting by myself. And, you know, I was wandering around the store with him and we were just looking for the right people to talk to. You know, I was judging all the employees. I was thinking, hey, I don't know if that guy, that girl would do well with it. Maybe this person would. And after finding one guy who was stocking milk in the dairy section, I approached him, started talking with him. And I found out he was actually from Seattle. He was living in Boise. And I was from Seattle too. So we connected on that aspect and asked him the question. Do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money outside of what you're doing? And he said, yeah, definitely. You know, what's it about? I said, well, hey, you know what? Here's my business card. You know, I've got to run. I actually got to head out. You know, I'll follow up with you and we can talk a little bit later. Guess what? I never heard from the guy because I didn't get his information. You know, I just gave him my business card. And you know, that happened for, you know, about a year straight going out there approaching people. So if you guys are out there cold prospecting, there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem is people don't know who to approach. They don't know where to find the right people. And after that, they don't know what to say to them. So what we want to teach you guys how to do is how to generate those leads, how to convert those sales and how to get the right people at the right point in time in the process in front of your offer because if you can get people that are ready for something new in front of your offer, in front of your presentation, you're gonna close 95% of them as opposed to people who aren't ready for it, you guys. Because the biggest myth in network marketing, people think that you need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of leads, which is 
Not true. As much as you think it is, it isn't true. Because if you get a thousand people who aren't ready for something in front of your offer, they're all gonna say, no thanks, you know, not interested in it. But if you get 10 people who are dead broke, who are ready for a change in their life, who know what network marketing is, and who respect you and who trust you, then it's gonna be a lot easier to get one to two sales every single day with it. Because it's not about getting the amount of leads. What it's about, you guys, is this. It's getting the right people at the right point in time in their life in front of your offer. It's really that simple. So Paul's gonna go over a little bit more and elaborate on that so you can start producing one to two sales every single day. All right, so to go off of what Nick was really saying, um, is basically you know, getting the right people at the right time in the process in front of your presentation. I wanted to say that again, you guys, because it's that important. I remember hearing a call from one of my biggest mentors in the industry, and he said that at one point in time. And all I thought to myself was, well, that sounds cool, that's a neat concept, but I didn't understand it. That was over a year ago. And the funny thing is, when I heard that, it kind of just stuck with me, it resonated with me, but I never understood how to actually apply until now. It wasn't until this year that I realized exactly what I need to do. That being said, you guys, what is the biggest problem that most of us face? It's getting the right people in front of your presentation. Because if you're anything like me, I know exactly what I was doing wrong now, but I didn't in the beginning. See, what I was told was make a list of 100 people, 200 people, five. The bigger the list, the bigger the big business. The bigger the business, the bigger the paycheck. That's what I heard. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't personally, I mean, yeah, it works in network marketing. I don't personally agree with that philosophy. Because a lot of us out here, we go and prospect like, like Nick was saying. You know, a lot of our friends and family, we try to get them enrolled in the business. And right away, we get shot down. And all of a sudden, we're wondering what the heck happened. Am I right? And I know you guys can relate with me on that aspect. So here's the deal, you guys. It's getting the right people at the right point in their life in front of the presentation. Now, how exactly do you do that? Okay, because most of us, what we're doing right now is we're going out, making a list, prospecting. Once we're out of you know, our, our warm market, we try to you know, get a bunch of cold prospecting out there. And here's the thing. You're talking to a bunch of unqualified people. Okay, and I actually have a story. It's, it's funny, but over a year ago, I remember I was at a party of my friends. Um, and when we were there, okay, there were probably 30, 40 people there. And at the time, I, was, I went to parties, I went to businesses, I went to places for the sole purpose of prospecting people. <laughs> you know, let, let's keep that separate. Let's go to a place and have fun. And if people ask you what you do, you can tell them. But don't go for the purpose of actually prospecting. Anyways, I was there. I was talking to a, you know, a couple of friends of mine, and then I met this new fellow, a fellow that I've never met before. He seemed pretty cool, 25 years old. Um, and I remember when I was talking, it was funny, because what I was telling him was everything about the business, everything about the opportunity. I was telling him this, that, this. And the funny thing was, he seemed to have it. He was liking it. He's like, yeah, man, that sounds really cool, dude. Congrats, that's awesome. You know, maybe I can hear about it some more sometime. So then I literally, I almost held him there, but I kept, I kept talking and talking and talking. And then honestly, I thought he was still having it. But as I was sitting there, I remember he came, leaned over to me, put his hand on my shoulder and said, you know what, Paul? You seem a little bit desperate. And at that point, I was just shot down. He's like, I'm sorry, man, I'm not interested. I was shot down. You guys, I went into the other room. The party was still going on. I went into the other room, I sat down, and I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, that was horrible. <laughs> I was like, did I really just do that? I just literally pitched the guy for 30 minutes straight for him to tell me, yo, you seem a bit desperate. <laughs> and so, Long story short, I remember thinking to myself, I'm not going to quit. Yeah, this is one failure in life, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this happen so I can prove people like him wrong. Okay, because yeah, I don't have all the skills yet, but I will develop them. And then the next thought I thought was, man, I need to find something else. I need to find another avenue of, you know, talking to people because this sucks. I can make a list of, you know, 10 people. You know, and in network marketing, they say if you can recruit, you know, one out of nine or out of 10 people, you've got, a, you know, a 10% success rate. That's awesome. Well, imagine if you could recruit nine out of 10 people into the business. Because you see, if you have the right person in front of you, okay, and they, they're ready for a change, they're going to join the business. You don't even have to be a good closer 
You know, you don't even have to be good at telling them, yo, yo, this is this, this is, yeah. No, instead, all you have to do is get the right people in front of you. You can say, hey, buddy, here's the deal, man. You know, you saw that. You know, and you've got, you've got to show them that you're valuable. You've got to show them that, you know, that you're a person that they would love to work with. Just be a genuine human being. Relate with them. And all you got to do is say, hey, man, you ready to get started? Let's pull out your credit card and let's get you started. And that's literally all you have to do. And if you do that, you're golden. So what's the next problem, you guys? Actually having the influence, you know, to actually generate a sale. To actually get people to buy what you're selling. And honestly, the way I see that, is all you have to do is get the right people in front of you. That's literally, you know, that's that's 90% of the game right there. The other 10% is, is staying committed, all right, you guys? And once you start to do that, your business is going to grow and grow and expand and expand. See, it's like building a house. We are literally going to give you the blueprint to build this house, okay? Without a blueprint, a house is just a bunch of materials chilling on the side. You can have all the tools in the world. You can have all the materials in the world. But if you don't have a blueprint to actually build the house, Brick by brick, stone by stone, it's not going to look good at all. It'll be a, a pile of rubble. Okay, you guys? So what we wanted to do is give you the exact blueprint. So all you have to do is click down below, watch the videos, all right? And we're going to talk to you guys more about what we're using, what really just opened our minds up to a whole new world of opportunity so we were able to generate the right leads so we would recruit one to two people daily. Let's, let's put it this way, you guys. If you got 10 people to look into your opportunity, just 10 people, and they were the right people, they were qualified people, you would get nine out of 10 people enrolled, you guys. I'm telling you that right now. I'm not lying to you guys. So imagine if you got, you know, four people in front of a presentation. Just four people in front of a presentation a day. Four leads, that's it but three of them actually checked it out, they would, they bought. That's he's still a 75% success rate. That's three people being enrolled in a day. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to promise you guys that that's going to happen. What I am telling you guys though, is if you learn how to master these skills, it can happen for you too. Because just like Nick and I, you guys, we were struggling, 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 trying to find a way. And then, and then once we found it, once we found this system, I mean, really, we've just been working so hard. And you know what? We work for you guys as well. So that being said, check out the video below, and we'll talk to you guys soon.